the card take 25. <laughs> yeah, I had some issues earlier. Hey, y'all. Hi, th um, this is Carrie. And I, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I received my approval to get my medical marijuana card yesterday. And I wanted to explain the process that you go through to get it because it is so fast and so easy. And I was just blown away by just that. Um, I went through medical cannabis outreach. Um, I called Canton um, and the number is 309-338-8900. Um, they have a net, they have a, a a building, a medical cannabis outreach in Canton, and then they have one in Pekin, and the doctor is in Pekin. Um, so, what you need to do to you have to have a qualified qualifying condition for one thing, and I'll try to remember to put the list of qualifying conditions in the bottom, in the little thing down there below. Um, I was diagnosed with PTSD several years ago, so that's my qualifying condition. I also have anxiety, depression. Um, I have kind of a list, and those of you who know me, um, know a lot of my issues, um, which can which medical cannabis, um, can help me with all of those issues. But PTSD is the only one that's qualifying for me. So what you need to bring to your appointment, you make the appointment and what you need to bring to, to the appointment. And I had an appointment set back in September that I, and I know some of you probably had seen my post about that. Um, I had to cancel that appointment because I didn't have the money at that time. Uh, but thanks to HempWorks and this affiliate program that I'm working with, I now have the money. Um, so I'm telling you guys, um, this program, this affiliate program with My Daily Choice and HempWorks, it works. Um, I'm living proof that you can make money. Um, I am making money. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, back to this. Uh, what you need for to take with you is a state issued ID or driver's, driver's license. Medical records, the doc, a medical record proof that you have uh, a qualifying condition, um, something that from a doctor that says this is what you have. It could be something from the past, uh, past a documentation, whatever. Um, you need one proof of residency, uh, and you will need two. You will need two if if your address does not match your ID. So I took two proofs of of um, residency, residency, residency. Can't say that word. Um, with me, just mail, uh, a bank statement. And, and uh, I don't remember what the other thing was. Uh, and then if you're affidable goal, affidable goal, affidable goal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I would be great at, as a news reporter. I'm sure. Uh, there's a benefit ver verification letter for a disability on that too. So you take that with you to the office. And I don't know if you saw my last uh, video, two videos. I took one before I was going into the office and then one right afterwards. And then I was going to get on here um, and explain uh, the process. So you go in and um, there's so many people in there. It was packed and everybody was so nice, so friendly. Uh, you see one lady and then you pay, it's a little expensive. Uh, you pay $300 for the doctor to see the doctor. Um, and then you pay uh, however long you want your card for a year, two years, or three years. Um, I just did the one year and that was $100 for the one year. Um, Cause I, the things changing um, with the the cannabis industry. I just thought I'd start at one year, and she told me because I asked um, if I go to renew this, is it going to be a long process? Because I know Illinois takes forever to you know to do things. And she said no, between twenty four and forty eight hours, your your um, you'll get your next year for your card. So that's why Ellen did a year because I just don't know how things are going to go. Um, so count on four hundred dollars to uh, get started. Well worth it. Uh, if you have these issues and you want to try um, some more natural products um, and not be taking so many pills. And that's where I'm at. I'm tired of taking the pills and I'm, and I want, and I know, I know cannabis works. Uh, I just know it does. And I'm one of those ones that I don't like the high THC. You know, I'm the one, one of those ones where um, when I smoke it, if I, if, if I, in my past I smoked um, it's, I don't like the euphoric effect sometimes. I my I have anxiety already and some strands make me more anxious and more anxiety and more paranoid and and I'm a I'm like a person that wants to get things done. I don't want to sit on the couch. I mean, I feel I feel bad like I can't even get off the couch and and that's the, the type of strand that you're that's the type of marijuana that you're smoking. Um there's all different sorts of different kinds of strands where some of them have higher C CBD than they do the THC, but you kind of need that balance of a little bit of THC in there. There's CBN. There's, there's so many components um, that will help that help with certain ailments that you have. Um, 
and it's proven. And I've actually tried some of the ones um, and it's, it, it, it works. Uh, they work. Um, we wouldn't be this far along if they didn't. And then we, you wouldn't have this many people and testimonies if they didn't. Um, and I know a lot of people out there that are against um, marijuana. Yeah, you may have smoked it one time and you hated the way it made you feel. It's the strand you're smoking. You know, it's the, the type of weed you're smoking. That's that's what's doing it to you. Not all weed does that to you. Not all cannabis makes you feel that way. Not all cannabis makes you feel paranoid and not want to get off the couch. There's strands out there that are in, make you energetic for depression. There's ones, there's things that strands that will get you up and going and not, you know, ease your anxiety. And, and it's, you got to research it. You got to educate yourself. You got to, you know, what's out there. Um, and stop being so narrow minded on, on things. You know, this is, it's, this is a good thing and not a, not a bad thing that's happening. Um, okay. Back to this. So I went in, I got um, I paid my money and then I wait, I was, there of all those people in there, I ended up being number one. <laughs> uh, she gave me num the number one list, but I sat there. And when you're sitting in there waiting, um, which I didn't have to wait very long, there's a desk and there's a guy up there that's selling CBD products and um, ointments and things like that. And he walks around and he'll let, let you want to know if you tried some, on, try some under your tongue. And one thing I liked about his CBD bottle is the little dropper thing. Like with the ones that I'm selling, there's not, it had, um, his had uh, lines on it to where it told you how many mil how many how much you were getting, and these aren't. You have to kind of like just a third of a, a dropper or a full dropper. You know, these actually this his actually had the the lines that told you how much you were getting, which I think that's good. I think um, that's the way it should be. And he would explain things, and then there's a TV going to where you could watch um, things about CBD products and um, the medical aspect of things. So I sat there for a little bit and then I, then a lady called me up and I went to her and uh, she did some registration things with me. She, uh, it, that was fast. Uh, then I sat back down and I looked at some of their brochures and things like that. And then the doc, the doctor had my information. She gave the doctor all my information. Um, he had my, my paper of what I had and, and, um, what was written on there about it. So when I went in, they called me into the doctor's office, I, unbelievably fast. I mean, I think I sat there for maybe ugh, 20 minutes, maybe if that, and I figured with all the people in there, this is going to take forever. And it didn't. Um, and I walked in and I, and he had been looking at my chart and, uh, I, I swear to you, I was probably in that doctor's office five minutes. That's it. And when he said, I, he said, I was, uh, he said, you're, you're approved You take this card. And then you, go, then you could take the next, next step out, out, out there. And I said, are you serious? I, that was fast. And he said, he looked at me and he said, as many years of you, as, as many years of you've been going through this, this process should be fast for you. And I just thought, wow, that is so true. And that's, that's awesome. Um, kind of gave me goosebumps. Um, it is true. <laughs> Uh, so then I went, got that, got my card, went out, and then I did an online. You can either do it at home, an online uh, registration with the state, and that's where you pay the hundred dollars for your card, or you can do it there. They'll walk you through it there in the office, um, and that's where you need your. You give them your your um, forms of uh, res residency, um, and that there, and then then you paid the in my thinking card i already paid the three hundred dollars off my debit card and then when i went to go and pay the hundred dollars it wouldn't let me do it because there's a limit on my thing and i didn't even think about that so which was fine she started the process she got me into the computer and then i came home and um the next day uh went on the site she gave me my username and password and all i had to do was push check out pay the hundred dollars and I'm, I'm good to go. So now it says 30 to 90 days to get for my car to come in. Um, she said the process is usually sooner than that. So um, that's where we're at with that. Um, I will try to, you know, if I wanted, I wanted to say, tell you some other stuff. I don't remember what it is now. Uh, this is, I got my congratulatory letter, letter that I am qualified. Um, you can, they'll give you your written certification from your doctor, from a doctor. And um, this is my written certification form that uh, the doctor did sign it that I am um, qualified for medical marijuana card. So that's where we're at right now. And so I'm really, really excited for it to come in because I just want to try some of these. These I want to try the medical part of it, the more the medical strands um, and see what they do for me and get some of these, some of these pills. And, and, and I don't want to be taking these pills. I'm scared that they're going to like, they're going to ruin my insides. Um, 
and we all should be scared that the pills are going to ruin our insights because they, uh, pharmaceutical pills is the number one killer of the human race. Number one, pharmaceutical pill, pharmaceutical pills. So that's something you need to think about. Um, also some good news today. I, uh, I had been filling out, I got a email from Cresco labs, which is one of the top labs in, uh, Illinois, Chicago. They have three plants here in Chicago and Pennsylvania. They just opened one in Ohio. And I got a email from uh, from them. I had went and applied for a, a community specialist job. Um, that's where I can do some promoting online, things like that. And I applied yesterday, no, today, early this morning, I applied and I got an email from her today and it says, hello, Carrie. We received your resume about your interest in our community specialist position based out of our corporate office. I couldn't help but notice that you're a ways away from our corporate office, which I am. I'm like four hours away, but I thought I could do it at home. Um, you're a ways away from our corporate office and closer to our Lincoln, Illinois facility. We have a few cultivation agent positions open out of our Lincoln, Illinois, and love to have people with hor horticulture background for these roles, which I do because of my certifications. Now, if I wouldn't have been certified, I wouldn't have got this type of letter. So get certified. It's easy. And I can just tell you how to do it. Um, I've got lots of certifications in this that I, that I got from 2017. Well, it was like March 2017. I got certified in so many different areas in the cannabis industry. Okay, back to the letter. Uh, I was hoping to get you scheduled for a phone screen so that I may speak with you about our cultivation agent position and your background, but wanted to make sure that the hour, hour-ish commute would be something you could commit to making every day or to see if you were looking to relocate for a new role. I would love to relocate, but this is not really possible at this time. Um, and I know I could get in a better position if I did relocate and yeah, well, well, I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Uh, please let me, please let me know what your your availability will be for this this week or next week to speak about the role. I look forward to hearing back from you, Ashley Masalanis, um, recruiter recruiter from for um, Cresco Labs. So, our I looked up Lincoln, Illinois too, and it's like an hour and 10, 15 minutes from here, and winter's coming. But you know what? I don't care. I I love growing anyway, because I love my garden and I love, you know, we're farmers and, and I was wanting, really wanting this to grow some hemp this coming year. Um, cause that's going to be like huge also, but I just want to get my foot in the door and get, get going here, you know, and, and I think it's going to work, be worth just doing the drive, but I'm, I'm contemplating it. And I, I told her I wanted to have a, a phone call with her and, and discuss things and, and go from there. So, Good things are happening in Carrie world, so I'm 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 feeling good and and glad and happy and and hopefully you guys can all be glad and happy and if this I hopefully this helped you if you have any issues on um being nervous about going and getting qualified um it's so fast and so easy um like I said and I'll try to remember to list things below um, if not get a hold of me and um. I'll answer any questions that you may have that I didn't explain in this video. Um, with that, have a nice evening. Goodbye.